Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Elizabeth. We will be looking for a chance of a couple of showers, mainly across the northern mountains and into the northeast throughout the afternoon as the storm system passes to the north. Otherwise, it will be dry and windy across the state. Red flag warnings are up for a good portion of the state throughout the afternoon. Then tomorrow, we continue to dry out. We'll have just a chance of getting a couple of showers going across the northeast. Otherwise, we'll warm up the temperatures. We'll continue with breezy conditions. And by the middle part of the week, we'll be looking at less wind, but more sunshine, fewer showers, and even warmer temperatures as we get even downright hotter across the southeastern part of the state. We'll be looking for a few more showers across the east for the latter portion of the week. An Albuquerque woman who hit and killed a bicycle rider three years ago is back behind bars, accused of driving recklessly again. Miranda Pacheco made her first appearance in court today. Police stopped Pacheco early yesterday morning after they say she was drunk, swerving all over the road, even driving into oncoming traffic at one point. The 28-year-old had spent 90 days in jail after being convicted for reckless driving back in 2010. Pacheco swerved and struck David Anderson, killing him. Now, this time around, she is charged with aggravated driving under the influence, reckless driving, and not having proof of insurance. This morning, a judge set her bond at $15,000 cash or surety, but there is also a no bond hold on her for an unrelated probation violation involving an auto burglary. We now know the two-year-old who fell from a third-story apartment building was a boy. Emergency crews arrived at an apartment complex off of Montgomery Northeast around 7.30 last night. That is where police say the child fell out of the window. Police will only say that the two-year-old was injured. They could not tell us exactly how the child fell. The toddler survived. No word, though, on his current condition. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.